Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk and this is Android 12 Part 6. I will be dealing today with the thighs for Android 12's legs. You can see one of the legs here. The thigh goes right at the top. I've already 3D printed the parts for the thigh, which consist of this piece. All of these go onto the two pieces of studding that make up the legs. Um, you'll notice this one has space for servos at the back and the front. I'm only going to be putting one servo at the front for now, and the back is for further expansion in the future, so you can have a pair of muscles and a pair of tendons uh, that pull at the front and the back of the leg, just like a human. The next piece up is this, which is a pivot block, uh, which this fits onto, one way or the other. And basically that means the servo can push this, and this can then have a whole bunch of other things like these shock absorbers that push up to the actual hip assembly and that means I can stack these up without having to balance them all on the end of one servo horn. Also the back of this acts as a balancer so you'll notice this point is higher leverage than this point and that's going to be sprung in both directions which should hold this level and it should hold the Android standing upright even if there's no power um, so not all of that force is put back on the servo. The next piece is the simple hinge that goes right at the top. And uh, that hinges to the hip parts. So I've now got the thighs assembled onto the leg. So obviously there's a few more things to be done. Um, so I've got my spring balancers there, which will have springs hooked up at the back. We'll see my servos in place. Um, but I need to put the linkage in, and also obviously both legs uh, need to go um, attached to the hips, which is the next thing, and then I can get the linkages in, and then we can balance the whole thing up, and hopefully it should stand up by itself. So here are all the parts together, and um, it's looking pretty stable. Obviously I've uh, put these shock absorbers on the front, and we've got the spring balancer at the back. We'll take a closer look in a moment. Um, basically I haven't put the servo linkages in yet that actually actuate these but um, if we give this a squeeze then obviously you can see that moves the legs backwards and forwards um, enough for taking small steps initially anyway we've still got this motion um, which I need to sort out the linkage for and um, a few other things so let's take a closer look so there's the spring balancer. Obviously I've got two springs at the back that run down to the thigh. Um, I neglected to put a proper anchor point on for the ones at the top. So at the moment they're just um, onto this bolt, which is the hip hinge. Um, I could 3D print this part again to have anchors that come out at the back. Um, but I haven't decided how many springs I need. Those are quite stiff at the moment. So we'll see how the servo gets on with driving them. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. So the Android is leaning back slightly. Um, I can raise these pieces up, obviously on the studding, so that that brings, effectively makes these shorter so the Android leans forward more, so I can correct the actual posture of the whole thing. At the moment it does stand upright, there is a danger of it keeling over backwards, so it's possible also that I might um, put some more springs in there also still need to sort out the toes. I'm thinking about just sticking a block of foam in here. Um, obviously at the moment they're useless, but again, that's something I'll deal with when we get to actually doing some testing. So I've still got the servo linkages to actually make that drive these. Um, I haven't decided exactly what length they should be or where it should be on the servo yet. I might make several versions or an adjustable one. Um, there's a few nuts I need putting on here and some other bits and pieces. Um, and also I need a place to put the electronics. So, um, I've left some holes in this plate, which you probably can't see, but that's going to hold a tray either side so I can drop a battery in um, on either side of this thing so that I can drop in two batteries and keep a low centre of gravity. Um, and then up on the body I'll be putting some sort of um, clips where I can add a cage for the electronics. So we've obviously got this motion now that allows the Android to tip from side to side. Uh, which should work well enough you know, to pick one leg off the ground for walking. And with all the mass in the middle, 
hopefully as it shifts, um, hopefully it won't even need to shift that much. Um, and from the feel of the thing, it feels like it's going to work, um, you know, thinking about Android 11 and the previous Androids. So, um, <clears throat> there we go, if we break the knees we can give it a good push. Basically it feels fairly mechanically stable. Um, and hopefully in motion it should should stay upright. So the next part is going to be hopefully some uh, rudimentary testing once I've made all of the rest of the uh, minor pieces.